guys welcome back to the al Jess channel hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far lots to dive into and discuss in today's video regarding more roster rumors roster updates roster drama and then also some events as well as season 19 patch notes have also been released some crazy information going into today so of course if you guys want to step today all things apex legends esports related make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and without further ado let's go ahead and dive right into this first thing i wanted to make mention of a little bit of an update as far as the esport world is concerned rising apex rising is back fallout obviously hosted one of these a couple of months back and it's like a lot of basically like a pro-am kind of thing but you see a lot of like fundraising going on for like a good cause and then also you get a lot of people to kind of like make their mark on the community kind of show their you know purpose in this esports community for apex legends and very exciting stuff to see it's gonna be very uh you know intriguing to see happen but also because of algs off season this is a perfect time to do it because we are on the absolute drought of apex legends esport content so good to see that fallout's hosting this again and we should see more pretty soon the announcement is going to be on sunday literally two days from now also wanted to mention scurry going on from a former 100 thieves he has basically been updating us a little bit on his roster in the last couple of weeks so a couple of weeks ago he said that he was looking for an experienced igl for year four of pro league because he has his pro league spot then he said just for a little bit of more detail here i do have a pro league spot if you have questions or concerns about the team or me as a player then please do reach out then he updated us just hours ago saying there's been a change of plans we are now looking for a demon roller player to take into pro league with us looking for one so i don't know if like you know it's just like basically moved on like he was playing with someone else and then they were looking for an igl then maybe they split up with that guy now they're looking for a roller guy because the other guy he was playing with is not the same i don't really know what's going on in this camp just thought i'd leave you guys updated though as to what's going on it was kind of funny though because one of the comments here because he was looking for a roller demon obviously meat lovers is looking for a roller demon as well after the recent news that zapto had been kind of poached but we don't know where at least we think we know where now tech has now updated his new meat lover pro league trials and this is kind of crazy so it goes down to like r5 1v1s and then battle royale solos and all of this stuff and see who can win it and then goes into tdm also so it sounds like i'm trying to really understand but it seems like there's gonna be four lobbies 25 players per lobby in the 1v1s for r5 then the top five players from each lobby will move on and so there you have like you know four lobbies top five so that means 20 players then you go 20 teams of solos into a custom match whoever basically wins that you would have the top six players i guess or algs scoring wise so like whoever gets the most kills best placement all that stuff then you will go into six players into a tdm three versus three and i guess he's just looking for like the most damage and like the the, the best rated player who looks the best who's like got the most firepower in this that's gonna be a very I, I really hope it would be streamed because i would like to see who's gonna be meat lovers new player but also just because it's gonna be like a real tournament to, to fight your way into pro league it's gonna be really interesting but also i think it's a good way to give teams opportunities also but we need to talk about the updated on dark zero because zapto yes was poached from meat lovers but where is he going to the rumor was initially that dark zero may be looking to acquire zapto or koifel i'm here to tell you now that we believe that it is more likely going to be zapto over koifel at this time of course at the time you could kind of read you know a little bit more into this as you're looking at it but you could see tech's original tweet was saying that he felt like they were used again so it made it very clear that there was a poaching process being taken place for sentinels you didn't really know exactly what was going on all you heard from rkn that he was looking for a new team but you didn't really hear like any details on what was going on but for the me lover situation it specifically sounded like zapto was poached and obviously the only way i think zapto would leave is if he got a good check and a good opportunity to go somewhere where it made sense and of course dark zero does make sense so i, I think it now does make more sense that it would be zapto but also with an update that we're going to talk about that kind of eliminates koifel from this lineup and makes it seem more likely to be zapto so according to the first reason that this seems like it's going to be taking place is because according to north american sources with inside the algs that spoke to us sentinels have a big interest to build their north american algs year four roster around renowned pro sweet dreams it's obviously not confirmed until sweet confirms it or until sentinels confirm it but it totally makes sense and we also have an update to this story as well so according to the article that i wrote i kind of wanted to play both sides because i also wanted to express the interest that some people 
people were trying to talk about the Sentinels financial issue. Not long ago, Sentinels had basically said that they might only be able to operate for about three, four, five months or so. So why in the world would they spend all the money on the ALGS year four roster on probably the most expensive guy right now in Sweet Dreams if they were not financially looking good? Well, Hunter basically posted this on Twitter that Sentinels are spending nearly $700,000 a month on player and content creator salaries. They said if they don't successfully get the crowdfunding that they're looking for, they'll only be able to operate for two to three months, which only extends to about four to five months if they actually get the crowdfunding. CEO, however, did a little bit of an interview with Exerto saying that they recently were looking at this financial situation and that they were optimistic that they will be on a path where they'll reduce these losses and hopefully soon be profitable. Sentinels may still be around, obviously, for the end game of ALGS Year 4, but he also said that it was like an 80-page document, and people were only highlighting like one phrase or one verse inside of that 80-page document on one page, but there was a lot more into it, and that's why he said that they're still going to be around, and Sentinels is maybe not in so much of danger that people are making it seem to be. However, we also have an update. Not only is it about Sentinels and Sweet, but also, also, also... Koifel and Nathan, according to today, are rumored also to the same North American ALGS sources to be joining Sweet on this ALGS year four roster with the Sentinels. Now, of course, I think this is going to be a powerhouse roster. It was already rumored that Nathan was going to be sticking it out with Sweet because if you look at this current Pro League spot, you can see XNRG is listed as a Pro League team. This would imply that North American player Sweet and Nathan would be sticking together in some capacity. Now, there is a chance. I mean, I guess this would still technically be the case if Nathan was going to be a sub, but God only knows Nathan's not going to be a sub. So it seems very likely that Nathan and Sweet will be sticking it out. Also, it seemed like according to Nathan's Twitch clips that Nathan and Sweet really enjoyed possibly teaming together and they maybe meshed pretty well. And so having that controller player in the, in the form of Guild was a really good addition, but having a new replacement now that Guild is gone, the only option that makes sense is Koifel. And of course, that's when yesterday we were able to speak with our sources to also say that Koifel, yes, is going to join Nathan and Sweet in the ALGS year four. If this is true, and it seems likely, it is a crazy roster to say the least and this team is going to look so good and honestly i was a little worried for a second that like maybe you know sweet's kind of behind everybody's announcing their roster what's going on with sweet what's he gonna do is it gonna be as good is he gonna get like the the option a or is he gonna have the result to like option b c or d i think he got the absolute pick of the litter he is going as as long as the you know as long as the rumors are true of course it looks like he might get pick of the litter and this might be a really good addition for him in the future and so obviously that's where you go back to the whole zapto situation and it seems like dark zero's third will more than likely be zapto instead of koifel lastly just wanted to mention as we wrap the video up aim assist conversations going into apex legends once again yesterday those patch notes came out for season 19 ignite respawn came out on a little bit of a, a you know a conversation regarding aim assist and we've already heard that they were making an update but we didn't know when it was going to take place but they said we are not happy with the current state of aim assist we want to make it less frustrating and the, there are changes coming into the you know aim assist realm of apex but it's not going to happen until a couple of years which is crazy to me like why would you even say it continuously they've said it every single season we're gonna make a change we're gonna make a change we're looking into it but like it's not till a couple of years that makes me feel like they don't even have their change ready yet and they don't even know what they want to do they're just kind of like contemplating hopefully hoping to get a better idea later on down the road also though i guess i should mention this we do have nerfs and buffs that are going to completely change the meta now that we needed to talk about if you guys have not seen already catalyst and bangalore are heavily nerfed the, the digital threat is completely out of crafting rotation now let's just be honest catalyst is completely nerfed her piercing spikes no longer block projectiles as shields, so you can't hide behind them or accidentally put a full mag into them also she can now only place two tacticals instead of three and the uh, throwing range has been reduced to like 40 meters or something lifetime of wall has been nerfed slightly so catalyst is pretty much not meta any longer also bangalore is not meta any longer her speed boost duration uh has been reduced pretty significantly also her smoke lifetime has been reduced also her stun from alt has been reduced so she has been heavily heavily nerfed as well so bangalore cat meta more than likely will not be the meta in uh, you know going into algs year four and this is going to be interesting because yes you are going to have the pro league qualifiers played on the new meta so you might even have really good teams that like might not be able to make it because you got to be able to adapt to the new meta very quickly 
we'll see who it's going to be i wonder i feel like bloodhound's got to be back in the meta maybe I, I don't know i just feel like bloodhound is just still pretty strong i feel like bloodhound was strong this season not many people are using blood but We'll see how it goes. Interested to see what you guys think down in the comment section below about all the topics mentioned in today's video. Of course, like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, we'll see you all later, Gators.